with twice the amount of toxic contaminants as the infamous Love Canal waste site. More than 46,000 tons of industrial hazardous waste, carcinogens, and PCBs. The Dewey Lofo Landfill Superfund site in Nassau, New York has a tragic past and an uncertain future. A toxic heritage that began with corporate dumping in the 1950s, hazardous substances migrated from the site to underlying aquifers, downstream water bodies, contaminating groundwater, some residential wells, lakes, sediments, and several species of fish. When you look at the whole site at Lofal, you're not talking about maybe 15 acres around the landfill. You're talking about um, different impacts through the water table, uh, through tributaries, through other uh, soil impacts that are over a thousand acres. And it in, fact, it in fact impacts more than just our community, it impacts Skodak, it impacts Columbia County, um, and it really impacts the capital region as a whole by putting this horrific, horrific scar on an absolutely beautiful community. So in the mid to late 90s, uh, the town went ahead working with Uncaged, a local community group, uh, put together a health survey that went out to residents in the affected area. And really what came about from that push pin uh, mapping was the fact that there were absolutely clusters of cancer uh, related, we think, directly to Dewey Lofel landfill and the contamination. Uh, it, was pretty com it was pretty common to have results, um, you know, neighbors having the same types of cancer, people who had uh, pets, pets had the same type of cancer as their owners. Additional toxic chemicals, carcinogens, were discovered just a few years ago in the landfill. High levels of PCBs were found in Little Thunder Brook, near the discharge point of the landfill. Uh, the results showed that the highest levels of PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls, uh, were present in uh, this 2,000 foot stretch from the landfill down to the Valachia Kill uh, that is referred to as Little Thunder Brook uh, and was formerly known as Tributary T11A. What is the future of this toxic site, these local lakes and waterways? That's something when I was a kid that you'd see the summer campers all out there on kayaks. They'd be red and blue boats all over the, the lake every, every year and they don't go in there anymore. It just make the lake healthy again. You know, make it healthy again, that's all. How have people been affected? Will it affect you and future generations? What are we teaching our generation? What does the future hold? And that's what I have to look forward to. Love Canal Times 2, a landfill dilemma in Nassau, New York, is currently in production. Visit the official documentary website at barbarena.com for film production updates and to add your contribution to the making of this documentary.